Welcome back. Uh, right, in this episode, it's cold again. It's always cold in winter, uh, especially in my garage. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to weld in the uh, top rail tube extensions, uh, inclusive within that the inner rail, which uh, is going to provide that additional strength and also uh, will provide strength to the weld as well as for pillion uh, passengers. I'm also going to weld in the plate that I've just fabricated um, and also plug welds to weld the inner and outer tubes uh, on the top rail. But before I do that, I need to just remove off of the airbox the lugs that used to be supported from the under tray because uh, I'm now going to support that from the frame from the top. Let's get on. Right, just going to chop these lugs off. It seems slightly bizarre to use a, uh, a wood saw, but the teeth are uh, coarser and the, uh, the fine teeth just clog up and uh, the Dremel just melts it and just rips it to bits. So. Not to mention, of course, it's the airbox, it's plastic, <laughs> not metal. Right, so that's got the worst of the uh, excessive welding, which, which I seem to have done um, on the underside because I'm uh, struggling to see and so just trying to be um, too cautious perhaps and putting too much weld on. The rest of it looks reasonably good. Um, so uh, I'm going to finish it off with uh, some filing now because the angle grinder can be a bit vicious. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, I've uh, cleaned up the uh, the welds, and it, it's not really structural, but um, and it's my first weld. <laughs> that said, uh, I'm reasonably pleased with it. Uh, so, uh, let's have a flip. Can I flip the camera? There's one or two small marks. This is the uh, this is the join here, but generally speaking, I'm really pleased with the weld. A couple of little marks there. Um, it is metal under there, it's just a little bit uh, darker, so not quite as uh, as much metal as I liked. But uh, all around speaking, yeah, pretty impressed with that. Uh, not bad for a first uh, attempt at uh, welding. So now I'm just going to put the plate in here. I've just got to trim it up because the uh, there's a slight taper on. There's a slight taper on this uh, this pair of rails. They're not quite parallel, so I'm just going to. Uh, trim a little bit off the plate so that it sits nice and level right the way through there which will support the seat so that's what i'm going to do now
So just tack that in place. Um, this is going to form the uh, support for the seat and also the under tray from uh, all the debris coming up from the road. So now to clean that off and uh, and then start welding proper. Be a nice height. Let me see uh, see how good I can actually weld. <laughs> I've just put the indicators back on here just to uh, take it all fits and it's all nice and square and straight and uh, looks good. Uh, welding, yeah, not bad. Um, and if this ever gets onto uh, YouTube, I'm sure someone is going to say, oh, that's ugly and hideous, but it's all going to be covered up by the seat. Uh, it's really strong. I've tried to, I've tested it. It's, uh, it's very strong um, and not bad for the first attempt at welding. Um, so yeah, reasonably pleased with that, and uh, time to crack on. So, as you can see, uh, plug welds are really easy to do. Just four, four plug welds, two on either side, just to uh, bind all the two tubes together inside and out with a bit of extra rigidity and stop any rattling there. Okay, 
gonna take some time. 